Greetings to all of you. I am Mrs. Noshin Main. And I am Miss Eva Peter. We are from Pakistan unit. I have the honor of working with the presentation family for the last five years. And I have been serving presentation convent school for the last 14 years. By the grace of God, I am blessed to be the part of presentation family. I feel privileged to express my views about Nano Nigar. Venerable Nano Nigar, the founders of Presentation Convent School, uprooted her endless mission in the Ireland. That was the time when Ireland was suffering from the oppressive British rule. A series of life-changing events inspired Nano to dedicate her life to the service of the poor. But the sight that shot like a pang through Nano's heart was on her way home from a ball in Paris when she saw a puppers mustering around a church door for a morning mass. Nano life of, life of prayers, her concern for poors and her perseverance enabled her to establish school and other work of charity for the poors and oppressed. As well said by Nano, it is a good sign for our future success to meet with crosses in the beginning. So Nano also suffered and met with crosses in the beginning under the systematic injustice law of penal. She travelled with the flickering light of lantern during night to visit sick and help poor. This was a treacherous work as she carried lantern in the dark city of the cop. So she was called a lady with a lantern. Nano took stand in favor of the underprivileged, understood the realities of their situation with compassion, committed herself for their liberation by using education as a powerful weapon. Nano and her companion worked in their school for several years. From the small beginning in the Cox City, Nano established presentation congregation in 1775, which spread in the towns and cities of the Ireland, and from there it was spread in the various parts of the world. And they carried Nano's missions of education into the present day. The lantern which Lady, the lantern which Nano lighted over a hundred years ago, has lit up the whole world with the beam of education. As a presentation family, we are called to join hands with all the people, irrespective of caste, creed, and color, to promote peace, justice, and love, and to recall and fulfill the Nano's last word, love one another as you have hitherto done. I feel blessed to be part of the noble mission carried out by the presentation sisters in Pakistan. Today, in my country, they are working in the fields of education and charity, like taking care of the health and needs of the deserving class. They also go one step beyond by initiating various programs like Sustainable Development Goals in collaboration with the United Nations and also by arranging various workshops. In addition to this, they are also successfully carrying out their mission by helping poor people in the bleakest moment of their lives. In this context, they have successfully targeted the remote areas stretching from the desert of Sindh all the way up to the valley of Savat. I would like to add that because of their effort, bonded laborers in Sindh are now able to stand on their feet and are earning respectfully. Nero's belief that God would fulfill her dream is revealed by the selfless service of the Presentation Sisters who continue to serve with promised commitment and loyalty to God. It is worth mentioning that Presentation Sisters are addressing issues on social injustices, inequality and oppression while still trying hard to promote Catholic faith. They are working hard to uplift the standard of various communities irrespective of their religious affiliation. It is a known fact that Presentation Sisters are toiling themselves day and night to educate youth in general and women in particular. I can confidently say that today 
The mission of Nano Nagal is kept alive by the Presentation Sisters in Pakistan. We are blessed to have young sisters who keep bringing new and innovative ideas. On her 300th birthday, we pledge to keep Nano's mission of education for all, peace, justice and equality alive by passing it from one generation to the next. I would like to end by quoting Nano's words, All are brought up to be fond of instructing and it lies in the power of the poor to be of more service than the rich. Our feet know the way, our hearts carry the light.